In this video, we're going to be going over Nova Launcher and checking out all of its features and seeing if it would be a benefit for you and your Android device. So the benefit of having any custom launcher here would be that one, you obviously get to customize this in a way that you really can't in a stock launcher. So for example here, my status bar is missing and that's because I chose to have it this way. I feel like it just looks cleaner and I like to see my wallpaper instead of that status bar. But the other reason is that you get to keep your experience from phone to phone. So if you have a Samsung de device, more than likely you're running TouchWiz Launcher. But if you switch over to an HTC, then you're going to be running the Sense Launcher. And what happens is you might get used to one and then you have to switch over to a different style launcher. But once you have a custom launcher, all you have to do is install the app from the Play Store and you can restore a backup and you'll have your screen looking just the way you did on your previous phone. So if you take a look here real quick at the Play Store and do a search for our launcher, we'll see that the first result that we get is going to be Go Launcher and the second one is Nova Launcher. So Go Launcher is going to have the file size is 7.51 megabytes and it's got an average review of four and a half stars. Nova Launcher on the other hand only has about 1 million plus downloads. The file size is 2.88 and it has an average review of 4.7 stars. Now the main difference between both of these is that Go Launcher is absolutely free. You don't have to pay a dime for it, while Nova Launcher has a free trial, uh, which doesn't expire, but if you wanna unlock all of the features, then you have to pay $4 to do so. Now, I think Nova Launcher is better that way because Go Launcher, although it's free, they're always trying to upsell you by throwing you themes that you can pay for or other apps that you can pay for. And I think it's better to just pay for the launcher once and then they don't really bug you. They're not intrusive and you get to download as many times as you want on all of your different devices. So let's take a look here at Nova Launcher. And as you can see right now, I just have two screens. And let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the settings. But real quick, one thing that uh, these launchers allow you to do is to change the icon. So as you can see right here, um, this icon here has nothing to do with Dropbox but I was, I was able to change that icon for my Dropbox app. And that's the way, that's what I did here at the bottom for my, my dock. The phone app is used to be a little phone, but I changed it to make it look like that text image. So these are all just images that I got off the internet and then I just placed them on here. So the way you do that is you just long press any icon here. You hit edit, you can change the name, you can tap on the icon and we can pick anything else that we want. So for example here, I'm going to pick this here and hit OK and hit back. And now we just change that icon to a file that was on our phone. So that's how you do that. But let's take a look at the settings here under Nova settings. And we see that we have options here and settings for days. We can tinker with this the whole day to get the, that home screen to look just the way you want it. So here in the desktop, we have desktop grid. Right now, my my grid is eight rows by five columns. I felt like that worked perfect for me. You can really pick whatever you want. Um, then we have width margin and height margin. I set both of these to none. And as you can see here, we have lots and lots of, of uh, settings, especially with here scroll effect. Right now I have it to card stack and we could pick cube. And these other ones after tablet and and down, you have to pay the four bucks to unlock all of those, but it comes with cube and card stack for you to start with. So this is card stack here. It's a different effect. And it's very interesting and appealing. Um, and if we scroll down here, take a look at other settings, we can see that we can remove the label icons by checking or unchecking this little box. And I feel like it just makes the screen look a lot cleaner. We don't really need I or labels when I could just take a look at the icon and I know what that is. So let's go back into the Nova settings here. And we have settings for the drawer. Um, plenty of settings here of how you want your app drawer to look and how you want it to behave. We also have settings here for the dock. We can completely disable the dock if we wanted to. Right now I have it enabled and we can pick the number of docks that we want up to five. So right now I have two. So if we go back to the home screen here, this is my first stock with my main apps. And if I swipe to the left, we see that we have these apps here that have to do with guitar so that 
when I'm with my guitar group, I can just quickly swipe over and launch this app real quick. And then when I'm done, I can just go back. So that's really cool as well. So if we go back into settings, we see that we have settings here for folders, how we want that to look, how we want them, the icon to appear. And then we have the look and feel here, also really cool. We can change the color theme. So right now it's that jelly bean blue, but we could change it to this green or any other color in the hexadecimal system. So really you have millions of colors to pick from, but let's just pick this green here, hit OK. And then when we go back to the home screen, you'll see that all of the accents in the launcher are now going to be green. And if we go into the app drawer, the little accents at the top there are going to be green as well. And that's really cool if you have a wallpaper and you want to match the color, then you will be able to do that as well. So let's go back into the settings here and back into look and feel. And here we can see that we can change the icon size, the themes, the animation speed. And here we can go ahead and disable that notification bar or enable it. So right now I have it disabled. Okay, let's go back here. And another great thing about this launcher is that you have gestures and buttons here. So if you pr long press the home button, you can have that activate and do something like launch a, a specific app or enable a shortcut. Okay. And then if you can also do the same thing for the long press of the menu button, and also you have these gestures here. So you can pinch in, you can pinch out, you can swipe up, you can swipe down, double tap, swipe up with two fingers, swipe down with two fingers, and they can, you can assign each one of these gestures to do different things. So let's try swiping down to expand notifications and double tapping to launch Nova settings. So here, it, this is really effective if you have a large screen instead of having to swipe down all the way from the top like that you could just swipe down anywhere on the screen and let's say we swipe down right here it'll drop down our notifications so that way we don't have to pull our thumb all the way to the top and also there's another gesture is double tapping the uh, home screen let's see if I can find an empty space here but I don't really have an empty space on my launcher but I'll just move this there for right now so if I double tap on the launcher it'll it'll launch the settings because that's how we set it um, so gestures are really cool and gestures is part of the prime feature so you have to buy the four dollar app to be able to get that um, but well worth it then we have unread counts okay and new app feature uh, new app settings and also really important here is where we can backup and import. So we go in here and we can make a backup of our current settings. And then if we tap on restore, we can restore to any previous backup that we've made. And it even tells us where those backups are saved. So we can go in there and move those to Dropbox or we can move those onto our computer. And it's really flexible in that way. All right, so that's pretty much the settings for Nova Launcher. As you can see, it's very extensive and not all of these are going to be available with the basic download. Um, most of, well, just some of them, like the gestures and buttons are going to, you're going to have to pay the $4 for and leave some other ones, but you get the basic functionality from the free one. Um, but I think it's well worth the four bucks. All right, so let me just show you one other thing. You can have gestures on your dock as well. So right now, if I swipe up where it says apps, it's going to toggle my Google voice settings. And for another example, if I swipe up where it says web, I set it so that, uh, oh, it looks like I haven't done it yet. Okay. It's a good opportunity to show you just hit edit here and swipe action. I'm going to have it launch uh, Pandora. So I'm going to hit Pandora right there. And looks good to me i'm gonna hit back so now when i swipe up on the web it's gonna automatically launch pandora for me so that's really cool i really like that um really minimalistic really sleek and right now i have it just the way i want it all right so that's nova launcher for you one other really cool feature that nova launcher offers is that you can overlap widgets and applications so this my little task widget I can expand it past on top or underneath other applications like that. And now they're overlapping, which is uh, could be beneficial in some situations. So here I can bring this to the front like that and be on top of everything else, or I can send it to the back. So here in the Nova settings, if we go into desktop 
and over here where it says widget overlapping and if we check overlap when placing then we can move these icons around and put them down here if we wanted right on top of another widget something you can't really do um, a stock launcher so that's really cool as well all right so that's pretty much um, how this Nova launcher works and it, and like I mentioned there's just so many settings for you to play with now I did want to show you one other thing so if we go here into the Play Store and we go to Nova launcher and we scroll down here to the bottom where it says more apps by Tesla coil or we tap here where it says widget locker now this is another app that they made I believe this one's around two dollars and fifty cents and this is basically gonna work really well with with Nova Launcher and what it is is that you get to customize your lock screen so let me go to that and that is gonna be right here widget locker and when you launch it, it's gonna throw you into the editor so you can press settings here and go into settings and just like Nova Launcher you have plenty and plenty of settings for your lock screen now and you can edit this really any way you like you can move the lock anywhere you want to the middle to the top or to the bottom and then the other thing is let's just start fresh here I'm gonna remove that so I'm gonna tap and hold here and add a custom slider and here we get to pick the theme that we want so we have everything from Android to Android default to honeycomb to ice cream sandwich jelly bean we even have the iPhone uh, locker right there and we have the rotary type we have every single locker that Android has really ever seen so that's really cool and the other thing that you could do is you can uh, install other ones so you can add more by tapping here where it says get themes here it'll throw um, your web browser up and you can download these you can also tap over here where it says XDA themes and it's going to throw you into the forum so over here in this forum there's going to be other themes that other people have made and you can just scroll through these there's plenty and plenty of pages here for you to look from once you find one that you like all you have to do is download the zip file so here we see uh, this is a zip file you download that save it onto your phone then tap it and you open it with a file explorer and then you open it with the widget locker app and then it'll appear under themes in the widget locker settings so you go over here where it says the theme and you drop down like that and once it refreshes you'll see that new theme in here so you have so many options so many themes and it's really really cool so the other thing you could do is this one right here right now is set so that if you slide to the right it unlocks slide to the left changes the ringer options but you could change that so we can have it be instead of changing the ringer options we can have it launch an application so any app that's on your phone already or you can have it do a shortcut like change the brightness launch the camera uh, send an SMS whatever you want so that's really cool and you can even change the icon of that if you wanted to um, anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save that and there's our jelly bean unlocker I'll put it down here at the bottom and here it acts like a screen too because you can add shortcuts widgets or applications right onto this screen as well so I'm just gonna put one here for example the browser right up in this corner and I'm gonna go ahead and save that so now when we turn off our screen and turn it back on we see here that we have the locker like that and if we go to the left it'll change our ringer and we can even just tap that browser and it'll launch the browser for us so lots and lots of settings you can tinker with it all day long like I have said it's really cool so the Nova launcher and then that locker is gonna run you around 750 but uh, since you watch this video to the end I'm gonna go ahead and give these away to somebody so if you leave a comment in this video telling me what launcher you use if you've ever used a launcher anything you want and then I'll pick someone in about two weeks at random and I'll give them a $10 Google Play Store gift card so that they can pick up both of these items and still have some change left over so yeah go ahead and leave a comment and um, let me know what you feel about this launcher or if you have another one that you prefer and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video